hey hello youtube it's kedar here and as a game is a great product you know you can see my reviews i will be uploading soon and the accessories that come with it is so nice but as you can see there are lot of accessories so how to use that accessories is very important to take great quality videos and photos so let's take look at main accessories first so the first one is waterproof casing right here and to open this waterproof casing there is a switch so you have to pull this switch at the right side and simultaneously lift the cover like this from the top and as you can see the case engages like this and you can take out your camera now to close this case close this lid layer right here make sure that it is closed very well and there is no, nothing stuck there so now put this lid like like this and make sure that it is engaged and put this lid right here so it is closed it is the mounting of the camera right here and there are the buttons on the on the side also as the cam is giving you this extra lid also spare lid they are calling it this lid is not waterproof but with this lid added attach on this main casing right here you can record the voice also you with this case the voice is not recorded since the all the camera is sealed into this container of the box so you can use this case so next one is a bicycle stand as you can see to open this bicycle stand you have to loose out this side of the bicycle stand fully and as you can see you can take it out and here is a rubber fittings right inside the bicycle stand so as you can see now you can install on to your bike handle pretty well and make sure that the rubber rubber fittings is nice and snug inside it like that so how you can install this just do it like this and close this and it is very easy and close it so here are the helmet base bandage right on to the bottom of this they have used 3m adhesive so you can stick this base to the helmet or any kind of surface well extra 3m adhesive for helmet base bandage here is fix mounting base on to the bottom they have giving this normal screw so you can mount this onto your tripod or any any kind of tripod like this and this thing is connecting to your camera an adapter to connect the camera some switch supports to connect your camera in different orientations there are some bases to connect your camera for each mount there is a different base and the clip to connect your camera directly to the tripod using this not right here or to use this holder as a clip so you can clip this camera mount to your shirt or any any kind of surface like this so it will be to stay and finally the bands so to connect your camera to your clip mount as you can see you can directly put this camera like this and push like this so it will be snug fit and if you want to see the screen you can remove this clip by pressing like this and basically push onto the outward side and 
you can remove the clip and it will be easier to see the screen now also you can mount the camera in both ways so it doesn't matter because they have given this mounting nut onto the both sides and you can access the all keys also no problem at all and memory card like this well note that clip should be mounted onto one side only put this notch right here onto the top and you can put your clip onto the like this you cannot put it downwards it doesn't fit to connect your camera to your bicycle you have to use this bicycle mount and this adapter right here and this clip mount and you can connect the camera using the adapter very easily to set the angle of the camera you can type this nut whatever you want at and as you can see you can mount like this so it will be good fit here is a bicycle stand attached to waterproof mounting you can insert the camera like this it fits very snugly inside the casing and close the case like this by putting this and you can turn on your camera by this button although when when you put the camera inside the case this waterproofing case you will have to push this keys somewhat harder but it will do the job of waterproofing your camera to take out your camera from this waterproofing casing push this switch to right side and simultaneously lift off this lid and then open the camera and take it out your camera here is a fixed base mount as you can see it look like this fixed base mount can be used to put your camera onto the flat surface or you can use this mount for hanging your camera to various kind of mounting tripods or here i have the example of monopod you can see now with this monopod i can use my camera to shoot myself and other stuff like that okay to mount your camera to your helmet you can use this mount as you can see it looks like this and and this helmet blaze attaching to it so you can insert your camera into this base plate like this and this 3m adhesive will be attached onto your helmet so it will be sticked onto your helmet like this well to remove this helmet base attaching plate you will need bit of a force in a right way so how you do it you push this both clips inside with your one thing two fingers and just push this base plate like this you can easily remove this if you try it another way it will take hard to disengage this to make a wrist mount for your sg cam you can use this same setting of helmet attachment and put the wrist band right here make sure that put your wrist band so in a such a way that this moving clip will face outwards as you can see it will facing outwards and you can fit this clip like putting this band inside out and to fit this you have to put this clip and push it hard so it will be snug fit you can see you can mount this camera onto your wrist or your leg or any kind of pole or another thing to connect your camera onto any normal tripods you can use this 
base plate with which has this nut bolt attachment to it slide it over your camera like this and basically you can attach any kind of tripod to here as you can see I attach the base plate like this and now my camera is facing towards this side but let's say I want to face my camera on to 90 degree to this side so what can I use I can use this mount right here so what it will do let me show you as you can see now I have attached the 90 degree mount so now my camera is facing onto the this side instead of facing to this and my pick cover is fixed so I can use this mount to 90 degree rotate my camera well this mount is works very good cause you know it has a two axis this is the x axis right here and it goes fully or basically 180 degree at x axis and at the y axis it can go like this means you can also side mount this camera and like to the walls or any kind of surface and basically turn it into any kind of angle that you want well the mount I showed earlier is quite bigger for some applications so you can use this smaller mount as you can see right here it is 90 degree rotating mount you can attach to any kind of base plate helmet plate or another plate and it works same as a previous mount it can rotate your camera in any angle and the great feature is that it is small in size it looks cool if you are shooting your camera from outside means you are taking the videos of this camera it looks cool as you can see well let's say you have to mount your camera onto your wrist so you can use this both mounts this is a base plate and there is a mount which can go into this base plate right here so let me show you how it will look like as you can see now I can connect the wristband right here like I showed earlier and but now as you can see my camera can only goes onto the Y axis if you want to move it onto the four, four axis you can use the, the 90 degree mount I showed that's how it works so we finished all the stuff that the accessories can do you know there are quite a lot of uses of these accessories and you can use your creativity to use these accessories for your particular applications but there are the few basics methodology that I showed you to use it if you have any problem you can refer the manual they have written all the names I use the same names in this video to make it easier and Although you you not understand any kind of method, please leave your thoughts in comments down below and I will try to solve it and hope you like my video guys. Please be sure to thumbs up this video and goodbye.